Queenslanders are being warned by the state opposition not to expect any meaningful changes to how the state is run if a major cabinet reshuffle goes ahead. Live to Lucy Great State Parliament. So, Lucy, talk us through the changes that are being speculated. Well, Tom, this reported cabinet shake-up is centred around three critical pain points for the state government here in Queensland. Those are health, housing and youth crime. Now, the changes could see Health Minister Yvette Darth return to her role as Attorney General, swapping places with the current AG, Shannon Fentiman. Now, she served as AG from 2017 right up until the 2020 election. And once the state government secured its third term in office, that's when she took on the Health Minister role. Now, over that time, the health sector has seen a rapid deterioration when it comes to a maternity crisis up north. We've seen ambulance ramping worsening and, of course, major cost blowouts. Now, there's also reports that the Youth Justice Minister, Leanne Linnard, will also lose her cabinet position. That's the same thing for the Housing Minister, Leanne Enoch. And that's, of course, as we've seen, major issues with youth crime in this state and housing as homelessness rises by more than 20% in the past five years. Now, considering it was just in recent weeks, the Premier, Anastasia Palaszczuk, insisted she had no plans to change her cabinet and that the Health Minister was here to stay. The opposition, state opposition is really seizing on this apparent change of heart, saying it's purely politics ahead of next year's state election. This is more chaos and crisis of the Palaszczuk government. If Anastasia Palaszczuk thinks that changing a few faces around in a reshuffle is going to save her dying government, she's got another thing coming. The reality is the clowns are still there and the circus is the same. But Queenslanders will not buy the fact that this is going to reset the government and fix the issues that matter importantly to Queensland. Now, unsurprisingly, the federal opposition and Queensland MP David Littleproud has also been keen to get in on the action, criticising the state Labor government. He's kind of relayed the same message that state opposition here has just given now. This Premier has been there too long. She's tired. Her government's tired. And we're just simply changing the deck chairs for the sake of it in one last desperate bid to hold on to government. As for when these changes will be officially announced, we're expecting to hear from the Premier tomorrow. Tom.